everyone, it's Cal from Dirty Weasel, and this is a reference video so I can send people to this video for a very quick install of Starfield Script Extender. If you wish to have a full explanation of what a script extender does and go through all the history, I have another full-length video that you can refer to. I will include a link in that description below so you can see it. But like I said, this is a reference video. It'll be very, very quick. This video will change when the Starfield script extender adds entire scripts to the data folder, but as of the making of this video on October 25th, it does not include that, so it will not show a full installation into Mod Organizer. The Starfield script extender is available on the Starfield Nexus. It is mod number 106. To install it, you're going to do a manual install. Go over to the file section, and you can see it has the compatibility version of what the Starfield version goes with it, and it will be updated with each version of Starfield as it is released by Bethesda. You are going to do a manual download on this mod at this time, so go ahead and manually download it. You do not need to install it into your mod manager. Go ahead and click Manual Download and get it on your desktop. When you open the archive via 7-zip or WinRAR, I'm using WinRAR, you can see inside the SFSE, and you'll have the version number for the Starfield Script Extender. Inside, there are only two files you actually need, the SFSE underscore loader.exec and the SFSE version number that corresponds to the game .dll. And you're going to manually install this into the Starfield main directory. You know you're in the main directory when you see the starfield.exe or executable. And my path is PC, games, Steam, Steam apps, common, Starfield, but your exact game directory may be in a different location. You're going to take the two files I mentioned before, the sfse.dll and the sfse underscore loader.exec, and drag them and drop them into the main directory that I've just mentioned and showed to you here. When you come to update in future updates of the Starfield script extender, you will need to install the new DLL and the executable, and you'll be left with the old one. So in the future, you may need to remove the old one and then keep the new one that is being provided by SFSE. In your mod manager of choice, you will need to start the game. Each time you want to play Starfield with any mods that require the Starfield script extender via the mod manager, and that means the SFSE, as you can see up here, was auto-detected by Mod Organizer 2. If it does not auto-detect, you'll need to add an executable. To do that, you need to come over to the gear icon, configure the executables that can be started through Mod Organizer, open that up, and you would need to start a new executable, and we'll just do this for a test. A new executable from file. You'll need to go where you installed SFSE, which is in the main directory for Starfield. And you should show the SFSE underscore loader.exec. Click that and open. Now I'll show the SFSE loader where it's starting in, and you then press apply or OK, and you should be all set, and it will appear in the drop down menu of Mod Organizer on the upper right hand side. Each time you want to play the game with any Starfield Script Extender mods, you'll need to run it through the executable, not through the Starfield drop down here, but through SFSE. And that's the basics. If you want to see the full video, once again, I will include a link in the description. As you can see, a full explanation of what the Starfield Script Extender does. This is only a reference video. Thank you very much. My name is Cal. I'm from Dirty Weasel, and I'm signing off.